Our next contestant is Cedric Clyburn. He's a freshman studying computer engineering and is a dual citizen of the US and France. His international experience occurred last summer where he spent an adventurous month hiking from Spain to Switzerland. The title of his presentation is Hitchhiking Europe, a broke student's story. Let's hear it. Thank you. How the hell did I end up 13,000 feet on a mountain two days after I arrived? Hi, my name is Cedric Clyburn, and my journey taught me that you don't have to study abroad in order to learn lessons abroad. From hiking mountains like this to staying with strangers and more, I began to expect the unexpected throughout my experience of hitchhiking in Europe. Now, France is known for its many churches typically located beside a boulangerie or a bakery. Now, this one was built in 1272 in Narbonne and was a highlight of the many towns I got to visit. But it's not the history, but the culture and environment that I really was fascinated with. I played soccer with the boys of the church just minutes before I got onto my train. Now, I arrived in Switzerland late. I had no place to stay. The restaurants were closed, and so I sent a couch surfing request last minute and stayed with people who spoke no English or French. But we shared a meal by their fireplace. I even drank my first legal beer. There's always a resource out there for a college student traveling. And I arrived in Marseille late as well with a place to stay gone. So I looked at a youth hostel, the cheapest place I could stay at, had no running water, had no electricity. I expected the worst. But when I got there, I was welcomed by a new family of travelers that made me feel like home. We played drums, guitar, until the last minutes of the night. The unexpected did not stop, however. My flight out of Barcelona was delayed by four hours, then finally canceled. And I sat in the airport looking at the sky and realized that all the unfortunate events that had happened were part of the adventure. I stayed at the beach at a four-star hotel provided by United Airlines. <laughs> and so even though I missed flights, I missed trains. Something I never missed was turning a mishap into a positive experience. The uh, perspective of a broke college student traveling to another place allowed me to get out of my comfort zone and see the diverse world. Something I want to challenge you to do this week is whether you're at home or abroad, is to expect the unexpected, because that's where the adventure starts. Thank you.